Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Horror Corner. I'm your host, Sean Patrick Urshan, and it's Halloween time, everybody. Big time for us horror YouTubers. And uh, with that being said, I thought I'd do something fun. And I don't think I've seen anybody do this yet. Uh, I think a great way to celebrate Halloween and the Halloween season, and of course, horror films is to discuss some of our favorite horror movie theme songs. Uh, so this is going to be the top 10 horror movie theme songs. And when I say that, I mean the, the score of the movie, not like rock songs or pop songs that were featured in certain horror movies. I'm talking about the actual scores of the films and like the main themes of these movies. Uh, so, with that being said, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to mention only two uh, runners-up, or honorable mentions, if you will. Uh, the first one is going to be Hellraiser. And that was done by Christopher Young. He was the composer on that film. Uh, absolutely epic uh, theme song, uh, epic soundtrack, epic score on that film. The second one is going to be one that's very recent, and that is from Halloween 2018. Uh, the score, of course, by John Carpenter, and the song I'm talking about in particular is The Shape Stalks Allison. Uh, when I heard that, I was just like, wow, that is amazing. Wow, he really brought it for this movie. <laughs> because uh, I wasn't sure if John Carpenter was going to be able to deliver a uh, given his age, and but boy did he deliver on this film. Whatever you may think about Halloween 2018, you gotta admit the score by John Carpenter was fantastic. Uh, next up is The Beyond by Fabio Frizzi. Uh, amazing score on that film. And I love a lot of his work on, on those Lucio Fulci uh, Italian horror classics. Here's the actual soundtrack uh, that actually comes with this awesome uh, Blu-ray I got. I was so happy to get that soundtrack because it's great. Uh, next up is going to be The Shining. Uh, that classic from 1980, you know, directed by Stanley Kubrick, based on the Stephen King novel. Uh, but the theme song... It's absolutely awesome and haunting and ch just chills you to the bone. Uh, and that was done by Wendy Carlos and Rachel Elkind. Next up is the theme from Psycho. You knew that had to be on there. What an amazing uh, uh, opening score uh, to that film. Um, the, that was composed by Bernard Herrmann. Uh, just amazing. It's just iconic. Um, it's one of the things that drives the film. Definitely, I would say, is the theme to that. Next up is from Rosemary's Baby, which, believe it or not, the theme song at the beginning has vocals by Mia Farrow, the star of the film. So how cool is that? You know, that la da 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 <laughs> just awesome and that was uh, done by Christoph Comida the Rosemary's Baby theme with the vocals by Mia Farrow next up is the theme from The Howling awesome awesome score on that film just amazing and that was done by Pino DiNaggio uh, who composed the film just an amazing score with that it's got a classic like 80's feel with that gothic uh, church organ stuff going on. I love that. <laughs> so classic. And next up is going to be absolutely one of my favorites. One of my favorite horror movies of all time. One of my favorite scores of all time. Horror of Dracula. You knew I had to put some hammer in there. And that was of course composed by James Bernard. Uh, just so overpowering, so loud and in your face and just so intense. I love that. It just screams classic horror to me, you know. Uh, next up, absolutely phenomenal, the score of 
A Nightmare on Elm Street, the original classic from 1984. None of the other films compared to the score on this film. It's just phenomenal. And every time I watch this movie, I am reminded of this. Every time, like, this score is unbelievable. I can't imagine this movie working without that score even, you know? Despite the amazing performance, but I feel like without that score, it just wouldn't have the same feel, you know? And next up, number three, is Night of the Living Dead. Such a phenomenal score, I think, you know. Again, it's like kind of horror of Dracula in a way. Loud, overpowering, and so intense it just drives the film. And, and it, again, it just screams classic horror to me, you know. And, uh, and the film being black and white just adds to it, you know. I love it. And uh, the... Several people did songs on this film, uh, but I think the main one, The Driveway to the Cemetery by uh, Spencer Moore, uh, the, op the opening credits, you know, when they're driving to the cemetery, uh, was by Spencer Moore. So that's my favorite. Uh, number two is going to be Friday the 13th Part 2 by Henry Manfredini. What a classic. <laughs> Now, I say part two, you might be like, why part two? Why isn't it part one or one of the other big time ones in the franchise, like the final chapter or something? No, I feel like Henry Manfredini brought his A game to Friday the 13th part two. Uh, I love the theme from the original Friday the 13th from 1980, but I feel like it was even more intense, you know. It was bigger. In this case, I felt bigger was better, you know. It was more intense. It was like you had, this time you had like a full orchestra with to back up the violin, you know. And of course, you got the ch 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 in there, of course. And you got those quiet moments, too, uh, when it gets slows down and it's really intense, you know. It's so haunting. It's so chilling. It's just an absolute classic. And of course, number one, you might be a little shocked. A little. Uh, you won't be shocked at which franchise it comes from, but you might be shocked at which film I picked. And that is the score of Halloween 2. Not, not the original. Part 2 from 1981, which was composed by John Carpenter along with Alan Howarth. And uh, again, it's uh, similar to Friday 13th Part 2 when I feel like they just upped the ante in the second one and it worked spectacularly. And it's just haunting, it's chilling, it's more gothic with that organ sound and I love that. It's, it's just phenomenal. Um, yeah, and I just feel like it improves upon the original classic theme by John Carpenter. Uh, so yeah, that's my pick, guys, for the top 10 horror movie theme songs. What's your top 10 horror movie theme songs? Feel free to post a response if you guys want to. I'm not making it a tag or anything, but feel free if you guys want to come up with your own list of top 10. Uh, you can post them in the comments. You can make a video response. Certainly feel free. And everyone, happy Halloween. And thank you for joining me, Sean Patrick Urshan in the Horror Corner. Tune in and stay scared.